for a year now, all my videos have been about Tunis as a root. That there isn't oneness there, but Tunis is the oneness. There have to be two things to be one. I still feel that way, but I feel that there's a third force in between the two-ness, which is higher than either of the two things. So there are really three things there. There are the two extremities, and then the force itself that holds those extremities together. This is exemplified in the letter Alif. Aleph has a yud on top, a yud on the bottom, and a vav in the middle. This vav in the middle, this connection, is what makes the letter Aleph. It connects the two tunis of the two yuds. It ex connects the extremes. The middle is the whole secret. When we look to see when nightfall is, we call it Den HaShamashot. It's like the, the night starts when the first part of the sun goes down. And then the end of this, another type of nightfall, is when the last part of the sun goes down. So Ben Hashem Hashot is the time between these two, part, these two ends of the sun going down. This is an example for everything. When we wake up, we start the day. When we go to sleep, it ends the day. But the real part of the day is the time between. When we start a breath, and when we end the breath at the end, it's the same holding of nothing. But the breath is the in-between. The in-between states. Buddhism, they call that bardo states. They call it the in-between between life and death. But it's really the in-between between anything. The in-between states is life itself, as exemplified by the Vav and the letter Aleph. When you go for a walk, you start, say, here in New York, and you walk to uh, the Bronx, it's the traveling in between. Life is the in-between. Daily life, the most important thing is how you speak spend the time between. Halakha, meaning the way to walk, is the way to walk between these states. Everything can be broken down into a three pattern. A start, a middle, and an end. Chess is like that too. A start, a middle, and an end. Tennis point. Everything is under the law of three. The first closed container is the triangle. The three process is the process of Judaism. Don't have fear that it's like what you would think is Christianity. The three process is the highest level of Judaism, as expressed in Rod Lowe. There are three, head, not three heads, three sephirot 
in Atika, Kadisha, Keta, Chokma, and Bina. This three process is in the head that's not known. Because at the highest level, it's only process that counts. What you put in as those processes changes, but the process doesn't count. Uh, it doesn't count. The process is what counts. It doesn't count. It's not a fourth. There's a three process. The fourth process is the process itself, which is like in uh, Hinduism, Sanskrit, they call it Torriya, the fourth. It's the white thing behind me here. The white light before it can be broken down into the three parts. It's the white behind the olive. Behind the darkness. It's the whiteness. It's the or. That's the fourth. The light. And in any manifestation, even in the head that's unknown, there's a three process that gets everything going. Not a two process and not a one process. The two contains the middle. This middle is higher even in avos and toledos. There's a middle between them that actually has a, the avos and toledos of the of the malakos of um, uh, uh, the mishkan. There's something higher than that. And the ain malakos, malaka, which is not part of the mishkan. This three process, that any time you see a two, there's a third in between, which is the cause of the two extremities. In the Aleph, the cause is the Vav. In everything, the cause is the middle that creates the two extremities for its needs and makes it look like the two extremities are the important part, like in the, uh, uh, the vision of the mitzvot into positive and negative. There's something in between, a force that's in between, a life force, a libido force, it causes all of this. It has its direct connection to the fourth light force. The closest connection to the, to the origin, the or, the Ainsaf, the 207, the closest connection to that is the Kav, which makes the connection... Kav is always uh, explained as a Vav. Actually, the Kav as the Vav has two functions, an internal and external function. So even the third force has two functions within it, which would mean it has a third function, something else that we have to search for. This is the beauty. Find out what's in between. Not the start or the finish, but the in-between. We are always in the in-between. It's said that the, the moment, this moment, the present, is the in-between. Well, isn't it? Between past and future, the present is the in-between. And we are only in that present. And so we postulate a past and a future for structural analysis that in a certain sense 
maybe even unnecessary when we're in the present moment, totally, instinctually, as I said in my previous video, as the instinctual realm of Keta in Rodlo, Keta as that middle, as the instincts in the middle, as the as the origin of language that everybody has, the origin of the language of speech. The present moment is where we exist only. It's the perfect example of the threeness of past and future. And what's in between? Same thing in the body. Two eyes. What's in between? Two nostrils of the nose. What symbolizes the two nerves. And what's in between? This shushumna nerve. The mouth. What's in between? The tongue. Between the lips. The third hand, two hands, and then what's in between? The belly button, the male phallus, the female phallus too, the, the anal, the in-between. The highest levels of being are the in-between. We look to have the two sides come together to open up an in-between. Everything emanates out of the in-between. The spine, our movements, our core. This is not talking, this has to be found. We, we have to find our center. We have to live in the present. We have to learn our instincts because of our erroneous education that's been socialized upon us. We were born this way and have to return that to Shuva. Return to the self that always was, that was always there, but we've gotten away from it. When you get away from it, you feel an unease, a disease, disease. When you return to your original self, the third hand, the hand of one hand clapping. It's always there for you. You are there. You've gone away. Shuva, return. Turn to your essence self, the middle of the two yuds. When you return there, believe me, you'll be everywhere. Simultaneous inclusion in the self. Pleasure, will, faith. Simultaneous in the present moment, that only that moment exists.